I've heard a lot about Tunisia, but I'm curious to know what exactly it is known for in Africa. Tunisia has a lot to offer. One of the most famous aspects is its historical significance. It's often referred to as the Cradle of Carthage, the ancient city that was a major power in the Mediterranean. That's true, Jin. Carthage was a dominant force in its time, and it played a significant role in the Punic Wars with Rome. Tunisia is also known for its rich cultural heritage. The country has a unique blend of Berber, Arab, and Mediterranean influences, which can be seen in its music, cuisine, and architecture. Speaking of cuisine, Tunisian food is amazing. The use of spices and flavors in dishes like couscous and tagine is something you can't miss when visiting Tunisia. Absolutely. User 5. Tunisian cuisine is a fusion of various Mediterranean flavors, and it's a delight for food enthusiasts. I've also heard that Tunisia has some beautiful beaches along its Mediterranean coastline. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Tunisia is famous for its picturesque beaches. Places like Hamamat and Jerba offer stunning seaside resorts where you can relax and enjoy the clear blue waters. And don't forget about the Sahara Desert. Tunisia is home to part of this iconic desert, which attracts adventure seekers and tourists interested in experiencing the vast sand dunes and unique landscapes. Tunisia's historical sites are a major draw as well. The ancient city of Duga, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a remarkable example of Roman architecture and history. I've also heard that Tunisia has a rich tradition of handicrafts. Can someone elaborate on that? Sure, Fred. Tunisia is known for its intricate handicrafts, including ceramics, carpets, and textiles. The Medina of Tunis is a great place to explore and shop for these unique and beautifully crafted items. Tunisia also has a vibrant music scene. The traditional music known as Malouf is quite popular, and you can often hear it at cultural events and celebrations. That's interesting. I didn't know about Malouf music. Tunisia's cultural diversity seems to be one of its strong points. On the topic of culture, Tunisia has a rich tradition of storytelling. The tales of 1001 Nights are believed to have originated here, which is another fascinating aspect of its cultural heritage. The country also has some impressive historical mosques and architecture. The Great Mosque of Caruan is a prime example, known for its stunning design and historical significance. Education and intellectual pursuits are highly valued in Tunisia. The country has a strong tradition of scholarship and has produced many renowned scholars and thinkers. Tunisia's efforts towards women's rights and gender equality are also worth mentioning. It was one of the first countries in the Arab world to grant women legal rights. That's a significant achievement, user 18. Tunisia's role in the Arab Spring is also well known. The protests in 2010 to 2011 led to major political changes not only in Tunisia, but also in other countries in the region. Tunisia's tourism industry has been growing steadily. The combination of historical sites, natural beauty, and cultural richness makes it an attractive destination for travelers. That's true, Jin. The government has been actively promoting tourism, and the country's safety measures have made it a relatively stable and secure destination. What about the language in Tunisia? I assume Arabic is widely spoken, but what about other languages? Arabic is the official language, but French is also widely spoken, especially in business and education. Tunisia has a strong French influence due to its colonial history. Tunisia's film industry has gained recognition on the international stage as well. The film The Silences of the Palace, directed by Mifid Platali received critical acclaim. I'm fascinated by the diversity of what Tunisia is known for. It seems like a country that has a lot to offer to both tourists and those interested in history and culture. Absolutely, Fred. Whether you're interested in exploring ancient ruins, enjoying beautiful beaches, savoring delicious cuisine, or immersing yourself in a rich cultural tapestry, Tunisia has something for everyone. Tunisia's geographical location is also interesting. It's at the crossroads of Africa and the Mediterranean, which has influenced its culture and history. In recent years, Tunisia has been making efforts to promote ecotourism and sustainable practices. This is an important step in preserving its natural beauty for future generations. Tunisia's political transition after the Arab Spring is an inspiring example of a peaceful shift towards democracy in the region. The hospitality of the Tunisian people is also remarkable. They are known for their warmth and welcoming nature towards tourists. All these points make me want to plan a trip to Tunisia soon. 
it seems like a hidden gem in North Africa. Before you go, make sure to explore the local markets or souks. They are vibrant and offer a wide range of products, from spices to handicrafts. Tunisia's mild Mediterranean climate is also a plus. It's a great destination year-round, with hot summers and mild winters. I've heard that the country has a rich tradition of storytelling. The tales of 1001 Nights are believed to have originated here, which is another fascinating aspect of its cultural heritage. Tunisia's ancient history is truly captivating. The city of El Gem boasts one of the best preserved Roman amphitheaters outside of Italy, and it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Don't forget to try some traditional mint tea when you visit Tunisia. It's a delightful way to experience the local culture and hospitality. Tunisia is also known for its olive oil production. The quality of Tunisian olive oil is highly regarded, and you can find it in many dishes and markets. Tunisia's commitment to preserving its historical sites is commendable. Their restoration and maintenance of places like the Roman ruins in Carthage are impressive. The country's geographical diversity is also striking. From the lush forests of the north to the arid deserts in the south, Tunisia offers a wide range of landscapes to explore. Tunisia's traditional clothing is quite unique. The Czechia hat and the Jebba robe are iconic garments that have been worn for centuries. For adventure seekers, Tunisia offers opportunities for activities like hiking in the Atlas Mountains and camel trekking in the Sahara Desert. Tunisia's commitment to renewable energy 